everyone and welcome to another Train Simulator Classic video. We're going to be checking out the Welsh Highland Railway, which I've been on once in real life, yeah, about 2011 I went on it um, and seen it quite a few times over the years. Um, but yes, um, the Welsh Highland Railway, picked. it's only £11.99 for a 25 mile detailed route, no more than that actually because you get the Fastinioga as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look and um, we're going to go from Carnarvon down to Port Maddock. Um, it'll probably be a, a sort of a parter run. I mean, it's about two and a half hours from one end to the other. So half hour each will be about five different videos on it. Um, which I'm sure if you're watching this quite a few months after it's been out, you'll probably be able to watch all of them all the way through. But yeah, um, here we are. This is Carnarvon. Let's get the doors open. This is literally my first time playing this um so yeah i suppose we'll get in and we'll get set up i did watch a little bit of youtube videos a few youtube videos just to sort of see you know if it's a fairly straightforward train to drive uh, and it is yeah it's quite simple but it's 11 pound 99 you get the for Stineog and welsh highland and the amount of trains you, you get tons of trains and they're not even they're pretty decent as well you can see uh all the rolling, all of it is just all part of that eleven pound ninety nine. Our next stop is Dinis. Although saying that, I need want to know how we turn on that headlight at the front. Oh, well the guard says we're ready, so let's go. Keep it on running. Right. Hammer off, but I'm not too sure how we get that front light on. The brakes are still coming off, aren't they? Or are they? Put a little bit more whack into it, a bit more welly. Let's get them fully. Right, off we go. Oh, maybe not that quick. Let's pop that down. Yeah, out of Carnarvon we go. Of our Garrett locomotive. Um, I think this is kind of you've got Carnarvon Castle here. Uh, which has been pretty nicely modelled, and then yeah, Carnarvon Town, um, and there's, a, there's our train, and we're off down there. So pretty well done the scenery. There's like hardly any requirements for it either. I think it was settled Carlisle on the Falmouth branch with um, uh, with the uh, Kuju uh, European Assets Pack. That's about that's it. It was that easy. Oh, there's a cylinder pop there. I wanna know where the headlight is though. That's what I wanna know, where that is. What's that one down there? Farming. It should be it should be an auto farming. If it's not, we're not gonna get very far. Yeah, just wondering how we turn on that front light. That one there. So I'm pressing, unless it's already on, which I mean it could be in some way. It's really good though. Yeah, this is a narrow gauge steam railway. Must be where we can turn that light on at the front. We won't worry about it too much, but it could actually just already be on it, might just because you just can't see it very well. Possibly. I'll have a little look round the, uh, the foot plate. Oh, pull back down a bit. Don't let any wheels slip. What's that there? Loco handbrake. Headlight. What a different. Okay, we get that one over there. That one over here. Any of them up here? No, they're all just bolts. And I think nothing. Uh, to do with the with the light. Off we go though. Love the sound of these locomotives. Especially that with that. If you're ever in Snowdonia you you hear that from that anywhere, just echoes through the valleys. Let's be fairly careful here. We sort of keep the power going. We're not well slipping, are we? Barely, if anything. 
Oh, so I think we're alright. Yeah, they're very weird locomotives, though. You sort of got... Well... This sort of front bit at the front, sort of extra. It's almost like another tender bit at the front bit. So I don't, it's not a, a tender. Let's pop that down a bit. You've also got the um, slightly different signalling system on this route as well. It's not just the usual UK semaphore uh, route. It's very weird signalling. I just like something out of Germany, that's what those sorts of signals. Oh, let's get a nice uh, passing by shot. Yeah. And oh, we're not wheel slipping. I mean, it's sort of just like we are, but at the same time, it's like, mm, I don't think we are. No. It's just it's how sort of small the uh, connectors are. Hopefully, that audio is alright. I did a little test run beforehand. And it was a bit too noisy, so I basically just halved it. So hopefully you can hear everything okay. Lovely. So we have got that auto farming. I think we do. Should do. Alright, we've got an open level crossing coming up. Right, time to test the brakes out. What are they like? Well, the tourist gravity can do most of this for us anyway, so that's all right. A little bit quick up to it. Come on, down to five. Okay, it's a, a slightly quicker, but it's all right. It's it's near enough. It's not a career scenario, so I don't need to worry about points. Man, how on earth do we get that light on? No, I bet there's a switch somewhere. But it's like where? Like tucked away somewhere. I thought it would be up here somewhere, but uh, nothing. Anything behind us? Anything on the front? Probably not. Turbo drifting. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it is already on by default. It's just hard to see it in the day. Daylight. Oh, what are these? Hang on. That's oh, steam loco brake. It's not hidden somewhere, is it? So you press H, but it just doesn't do anything. Sure. Let's get that up. Yeah, I've been to North Wales many times. This looks lovely out here. It's a lovely place. This line in particular is really nice. Oh, they're very expensive if you want to go on it. But you see where we're going. So we're going all the way down to Port Maddock, which is uh, not that one. Uh, it's uh, here. No, not that. Here. We're going there. It's quite a long journey, but it's going to be good. Because it is a lovely line. So I, I didn't, I, I sort of knew it was on Train Sim Class, but I wasn't really too aware of it. Like, I did know it was on, but I didn't know sort of where you got it from. And then um, someone in one of, I think, the Train Sim community server, on their screenshots, they had a photo of this, and I was like, ooh. So I had a little bit of digging online and found it. Yeah, £11.99. You get all these trains, massive, you get the Welsh Highland Railway and the um, Vestiniog Railway. Um, yeah, you, you get lots. I 
and very unique locomotives as well. I mean, where else are you going to see this kind of locomotive? Funky looking. And those, and those lovely uh, whistles as well. On we go, then. It's only 15 miles an hour here, but it feels quick because it's an hour gauge. Yeah, it would be nice if we could figure out that light, though. Not, no, no biggie, though. There you got some people down. Hang on, we're not stopping there, are we? What's this? No, we're not stopping there. What's this from? Uh, hang on, let's quickly hop out. This one? Uh, Bont Newit. Just letting that come down on its own. And yeah, as we sort of go in further into sort of the mountain area. Yeah, £11.99 uh, and all of the proceedings go to the Welsh Highland and uh, the Stinial Railway to help well improve. Um, improve. But it's madly how quick this um, railway expanded. I think they only opened the first bit in the 90s and then by 2011, 2012 they got to Port Maddox. I literally like every year there was like an extension. But it's really popular, it's a really popular route. And it's like the basically the main tourist thing in Snowdonia. Climbing Snowdon and going on the Welsh Highland Railway. So there's not really many better things to do, uh, view wise. I mean, it's so scenic when you come on this train. And right through the middle of Snowdonia. Right, we're coming up to Dinis. That pronunciation might be wrong. Probably is wrong. I need to find out how we turn that light on. I feel like there's like a really, there's probably just a button somewhere and it's like easy. And there's a sunroof. Constant whistling. Yeah, it's got a very unique um, signalling system, which I actually don't understand. So, uh, just press tab basically when I'm coming up to a signal. I don't know. I mean, that's not red, so well, it's got a red background, but I'm sure it's fine. If you, even if you click on here, it says it says it's on that two, but nothing happens. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Tell. Uh, we got, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. I thought the main one would work. I mean, it probably does. This has been done really nicely, though. Scenery-wise, it's really not. I think this released in 2021. Um, obviously not really like a big release as well, it's you know, it's just not one of those sort of big releases. But it's a good release. This is Dennis, I don't think it was sort of as big as this. It's sort of a fair bit going on. We will speed a little bit, but that's all good. Here we are. How to not um, overshoot. That's the next challenge. Quite long trains as well. There's the back. 
Hang on, why are we... No, it sounded like we were speeding up then. I was like, no, don't speed it up. Slowly bring it in. It looks like that's a nice signal. It's not red like that one. Here we are though, Dennis. That would do. First station stop. Oh, that is busy. Look at that. Wow, oh my god. <laughs> that's mad busy. It's like the busiest I've seen the train some classic platform. Look at that, it's like a tsunami of people coming down. Uh right, let's see. Uh next station it will be oh Ooh, um, uh, um, uh, one four, yeah, one four, yeah, that 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 one. <laughs> That'll be sort of the end of uh, part. I uh, don't take what here, right? One four. I'm, I'm guessing that one one. Let's go. Is that an instruction to get that? No, it's not. We'll have to try and figure that out ourselves. So there's a bit of a danger of this route running out of water, which we don't really want to do. Points indicator. Off we go, then. Out of uh, Dennis. Look at all the menus and everything, lovely. The interior is really nice. Oh, that's... Look at that. What a seat. Yeah, it's been really nicely done. I'm hoping this is not where we do water or anything like that. Oh. I don't remember this bit very well. The bit I remember the most is... Um, uh, Beth get it sort of through that way that's uh, and the Abba Glaslin bit that's sort of the scenic bit I'll read through as well that's that's nice through there um, let's get one there probably want to get a bit more further around the corner probably make it a slightly nicer shot oh, six miles an hour that's fine yeah let's try and get a bit further around then we can get more of that train in Without going into the wall, which is just there. It's hard. Uh, I got the five mile an hour board in the way. Just trying to get a nice shot. Now we'll go a bit further on. A few more spots. On we go, though. Probably should open the um, cylinders, really. We'll do that that um, worn for. I know that's not how you say it. But it's alright. Side windows you can open and close. Fair bit of interactability. Like, it's not like a really sort of bad quality loco, and it's been pretty decently done. can't really complain either when it's £11.99 for the route and um, well basically two routes in a way you've got yeah the Welsh Highland and the Fastiniog and then through the middle here you've got the um, Cambrian Coast line which goes off that way oh hello speed up a bit looks like we're going on quite a bit of a gradient all of a sudden Okay. Come on train, you can do it. Can it work in a way? I'm assuming we can change that whilst we're um, still in power. Unless that gears, it might not be the best thing to do.
Cool. There you go, up to uh, 15. So we can probably see Snowden quite soon. Probably can already see it. Probably that big one there. Lovely. Yeah, if you don't have this route and you're a bit of a steam steamer person, uh, well, I'd highly recommend it. I see it is the longest heritage railway in the UK at 25 miles long. I thought it was the West uh, West Somerset, but no, it's it's this one. Also, is that probably the longest standard gauge? Let's try and get a nice screenshot now. Now we're on a bit of sort of a flat. Now we can see a fair bit of the train. Try and get something for a thumbnail. Something at least. I don't know where that front light's not on though. You've got the little lamp there, but I want the big light on. Let's um, get a flyby shot. Let's go ahead uh, and watch it. Um, yeah, watch it going past. In fact, let's get it over this little farm lane here. Tell me, I was sitting here having our lunch or something. I'm watching it go past. There it goes. Yeah, nice and easy to um, drive though. It's not one of those steam trains where you get in and you literally move about a mile and it stops. We actually seem to be uh, doing something. Which is good. That Pullman, Glaslin, lovely. The observation uh, car at the back. They look all very happy, don't they? That's the one you hear the most, that whistle. Echoing throughout the valley. So we might as well try and keep that on because we're just continuously going uphill. So if we can try and sort of, sort of balance it, that would be quite, uh, quite handy. Lovely. It's really nice though. Especially as I've sort of been on it in real life as well, so it sort of I know, makes it that extra bit, extra bit better. I don't really get sort of steam railways on trains in classic much, but as this well, what's well, the Welsh Island Railway narrow gauge, unique trains? I thought I might as well give it a go. And for eleven pound ninety nine, I mean that's a steal. Um, hang on, is that the correct terminology? Still, bargain. Oh, it's a really good price. Oh, we are hitting that gradient now. There's some really steep gradients on this route. One's between uh, Ridfu and Beth Gellet. It's a really steep. But then, as it's narrow gauge, it can uh, manage it quite well. Not sure why we can sort of hear almost as if it's uh, electric. I suppose there's a bit of a noise when the train's approaching on the track, but not that tingly sort of sound you can hear there. Sounds as if yeah, some sort of uh, IET is about to rush through. It's a little bit unhealthy that front. It was bobbling around a fair bit. Sort of, sort of buffet um, car there, kitchen coach. 
at the back. There's tons of scenarios as well, this is just one of them. As we make up, I don't know, it's bobbling up and down a fair bit, isn't it? Hopefully it doesn't uh, fall off. That wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be very good. There we are, look at that. One, four, three down train. And uh, so we're coming up to Trafan. No, yeah, Trafan. And yeah, we got one full there. That's 15 as well. Seems to flatten out on the other side of this one as well. Cool. Let's go on the little observation. I mean, look how nice this is. Look at that. It really is a really well done route, scenery wise. And again, £11.99 for all this is just crazy. I mean, you could very easily pay tank, you know, as like, almost like a private project this is, 30 odd quid for this. Uh, £11.99. And there's three requirements for it. Mad. miles an hour that. We're only getting 11, it's alright. Yeah, it flattens out a bit. Quite nice getting these, I know, well, it's quite, yeah, it's quite nice getting these outside shots and sort of spinning in here. Hopefully everyone doesn't mind me sort of being on the outside a bit. So we can take in the scenery a bit more then. And also the train. Look at that. There you go, on a bit of a flat now. Up to 20. Cool. So not too far, so yeah, one far. One four. Not too far at all. And that will then be the uh, end of part one. Uh, but yeah, if you are watching this uh, a few weeks after release, you probably should see should see all of them. So we've got to fill up with water at one far. One. Have you said? So, oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see that the little water symbol there. That's good. I thought we'd have to shunt off somewhere to fill up. Where is the filling up? Where is that water? It'll be somewhere. Not in there, is it? On the back of the tender. I'll sort of see if there's any thingy anywhere. I'm sure we'll find it. Well, I'm, I'm sure it will start doing it anyway, wherever we do put it. Put a bit in the front. So sort of weigh it down, weigh down the front. That could sort of be the purpose of that thing there. I don't, really, I don't know these locos. Um, well, I mean, I've, I've seen them quite a few times in real life, but I don't know the technical bits and bobs. It's <coughs> only 16, that's fine. Miles per hour. But 
This is one of those lines. Here we go again, I'll say it again, which would be quite cool in TSW. I've said it, I've said it now. Who would like to see this on Train Sim World? Especially with the new, um, the new LIDAR mountain stuff, it would make the mountains look pretty, uh, pretty pleasant. Wind our way through here. Slowly, slow and steady. to warn far again I don't know that's not how you say it <laughs> it's probably a completely different pronunciation I mean it is you've got the um, Welsh uh, uh, translations as well just about everything in Wales has you've got yeah, sort of English and Welsh on, on all everything time wise and this is also Gwynedd um, so this is like the I think the majority of people who live in Gwynedd, uh, Gwynedd uh, speak Welsh or can, can speak Welsh a very very tricky language Welsh it doesn't, I don't think it shares any types of similarities with you know, like the English, Spanish, French are all sort of similar. You know, very easy to pick up. Welsh is like a whole different league of ball game. <laughs> That's probably the only way you can learn Welsh, or best way, is just from a really young age where you pick it up a, a lot easier. I suppose like any language. Has anyone watching managed to learn Welsh uh, when they're sort of a bit older? There we go. Yeah, now coming into our second station stop. Yeah, this will be the end of part number one. Imagine the next one will be head over to. Uh, oh, that actually is a whole part in itself. Going to Ridfu. Half hour to get there. Wow. Okay, that's that's quite a gap. I, I didn't think it took that long to get. To, oh my god, there's a lady on the tracks. I thought from one end to the other on here it was about an hour and a half, two and a half hours. Well, there. I suppose it is relatively slow. It feels quickish. Here we are, so we're uh, I suppose go a little bit further up so we can um I don't know is it in there? I can't see any sort of slot at the back there where the tender is. So I'm assuming it might be in that front bit. And we'll sort of stop there. And then we'll see about try yeah turns really where it wants uh we've still, we've only got, we've still got 83 percent where's that oh hang on oh let me zoom in a bit Just sort of try and find the place where the water is going to go it's not in this run bit oh unless it could be I suppose on most locos it's behind here, isn't it? On some of these trains it's uh, like on the side. And on the Terrier I think it's sort of on the side. 
can't work out where it goes. Well, we've got to wait here anyway. Um, I don't think I've actually ever done... I've never watered up on this game, so that's also going to make it slightly more interesting. Um, but that will be in part two. That is the end of part one, everyone. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. That was Carnarvon 2, Vaughan 4. Uh, the next part will take us along to Ridfu, uh, which is sort of the the beginning of the uh, Ridfu Snowden Snowden path. Um, so yeah, that will be the next one. Um, but yeah, hopefully everyone's enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you.